I did a video uh, as an overview of the videos that are later going to come. Um, it was going to be 15 minutes long, but I figured I can do it a bit faster. To cut a long story short, I am going to be doing a video series on multi-level marketing. Not necessarily as a proponent to it, because after a bit more research, I realized, yeah, there really isn't a lot of good things coming from it, even if you can justify saying that, oh yes, you can learn a bit on how to do sales. Well, let's be clear. Anything that you may learn from a multi-level marketing leadership um, or positive thinking a seminar or conference is going to be corrupted because of the emotional manipulation that occurs when you go through the system. And when you have that, you will go, you're only going to create a, a codependency on it. And some will say, well, I'm strong enough to be independent of that influence. Well, that's not everyone though. So this video series is going to hopefully instill some level of, of awareness and potentially create alternatives or a defense uh, through exposure, um, well, you know, in resistance to being manipulated or having your time wasted by engaging in MLM. Now, this is important because in this time, during this COVID crisis, we are easily going to fall victim to wanting hope. And hope is one of the primary weapons of multi-level marketing, network marketing pyramid schemes. It's so easy to be convinced because a lot of the times the people who get us into these multi-level marketing schemes are friends, family, neighbors, um, members of, a, of, of peers in a religion, um, churches pretty much, and even coworkers. So be very aware that it's not out of, you know, out of the ordinary or reality that someone may fall victim to this and try to convince you that this is a great business opportunity. And a lot of the people due to COVID-19, this pandemic that's spreading across the globe, there's going to be a lot of people falling victim to it. And a number of these people are going to be one uh, those who are in medical need or have a loved one in medical need. Uh, two, people who just need finances because either they don't have a job or they want to do something that they want to have more control over the reality and finances with. And the third type of person will be those who are fresh out of college and don't know any better or feel like they're going to be immune to the manipulation of MLM systems. Now, to be clear, <clears throat> MLMs in the United States are legal. At the same time, they have a lot of, uh, most of them, like especially Amway, has a lot of money to have the lawyers and the researchers to protect them, to protect the business, and to know how to better reinforce and manipulate its uh, people, its you know product, so that it can better grow itself. And... The funny thing is that when you're invited by any one of these people, whether it's your church member, uh, friends, family, neighbor, whatever, they don't tell you what the product is. They don't even tell you what organization is. They just call it a business opportunity or a solution or a potential job, right? And some may even dismiss it as something that's related to sales or marketing. And what ends up happening is that when you get invited first, typically to a coffee shop or a small meetup to get to know what your interests are and what your goals are, eventually you get led to an open house. From the open house, that's when their upline, the person that's above them, gets to tell you their entire story, their spiel, um, and they'll advocate for um, the, the promises of purpose, wealth, value, and achievement, and wealth. Like, again, wealth, because wealth is one of the key things that motivates people to participate in MLMs. And they'll offer, you know, um, recognition of books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad. They'll um, recognize the importance of books like Think and Grow Rich or even The Secret. And I'll cover that issue in another video. And finally, at the end of the entire spiel, at the end of that entire open house, then they'll talk about the product. Or even then, they'll just want your buy-in first before even telling what the, the company or the product is. And then when you get your, your buy-in, 
um, then they will say, you know, it's either Amway or Duterra, Avon, World Financial Group. And again, an emphasis from what I mentioned earlier, the main product of an MLM, you may think is like the, the products they're selling. That's just to legitimize the business. You have to have a direct sales funnel to legitimize the business, but typically you are the product, you yourself, and recruiting other people so that they would either recruit more people or they would just, you know, whatever the case is, recruitment is the primary product funnel for MLMs, network marketing, and uh, pyramid schemes. Um, when and where uh, the money comes in, it often comes from people buying into the system. Um, and it's you may find it difficult to just go by the traditional uh, definition for pyramid schemes because MLMs have figured out a way to deter the traditional uh, definition for pyramid schemes, hence the legitimizing of the business in the U.S. through having a direct sales funnel that is separated from the recruitment funnel. Um, so this is just an overview. The reinforcing reason for this video series is because I'm looking at things not based on what they do, and what happens to victims, I'm doing this as a way to compile a lot of what's out there and reframe it in a way that is accessible, um, understanding the problem and ultimately finding solutions to it, whether you're inside the MLM or looking for alternatives in order to gain revenue and really put yourself on a more corrected path that is more in line with people starting new businesses um, or a startup, anything that is not an MLM. With that said, uh, thank you for watching and looking forward to you viewing the, the next sequence in, these, uh, in this MLM series. Thank you for watching. If you appreciate this message, please like, share, and subscribe as that will help bring this video to a broader audience and support this channel. With that said, I'll catch you guys later.